Hi, this is the Reading Diversely tag. I was tagged by Robotnik, who is an awesome booktuber. Check her out if you haven't done so yet. And for this tag, basically, I have to mention books from every continent, excluding Antarctica. And this is all with the goal to get people to read more diversely. I'm not really going to talk in depth about a lot of books. I basically went through my entire personal library. What I want to do with this video is show you guys how many fantastic options there are. This is taking quite a long time to prep, and I hope I get everything right. But if I don't, I'll put corrections in the description, and I apologize in advance. First of all, we have Africa, and I want to start with Disgrace by J.M. Kutse, which I had to read for university. Now, I don't remember a lot about this book. I do remember there was a bit of horrific violence in it, and I also remember that I didn't like it that much. It is set in South Africa, and J.M. Kutse is a South African author. It's about a really unhappy middle-aged professor who's living in Cape Town. He's making all these mistakes in his life, and he can't protect his daughter, and I really want to reread this so I can kind of fully form an opinion on it. Then for the to read pile, I have Ghana Must Go by Taye Selassie. This is a debut book for this author. Her parents are from Ghana and Nigeria, and I think she was born in London. And this book is about a man who dies, and then kind of the consequences that has and the people it brings together. And it's very much about family and the bonds between people. Now we're skipping Antarctica and moving on to Asia. The first book is The Thousand Autumns of Jakob de Zoot by David Mitchell, who is also the author of Cloud Atlas like this book says. I think it's set around the year 1800 and it's set in a trading post of the Dutch East India Company in Japan. And I think a lot of the book is about kind of the culture clash between East and West. This is on the to read list by the way. I actually wasn't able to find a book that I would recommend written by an author from Asia. There were some books that I found but I didn't enjoy them that much so I figured I would go for the to read list for this one. Then we have 1Q84 by Haruki Murakami, a really really well known author and translator from Japan. It actually has three parts and this is just part one is because the book is so massive that they split it up in three parts for this edition. And if I like this, I'm definitely planning on diving into more Haruki Murakami books. And then we have a book that was assigned to me at university, which I started but never finished. And it is Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie. It's set in India. He is an Indian author. And it's kind of part of the magical realism genre. And this book also deals with the transition from British colonialism to independence. Now we're going to go to Australia. And I have The Arrival by Sean Tan. I had no idea that Sean Tan was Australian. This was one of my favorite books books I read I think last year. It is a beautiful graphic novel without words that deals with the life of an immigrant family and it also has these beautiful portraits of people from all different countries and cultures in the front. I think it fits really well with the theme of this video. Then on the to read list I have Tales from Outer Suburbia also by Sean Tan which I'm borrowing from Lena which kind of has the same style of illustrations but there are also stories in between. And then also for the to read pal I have Evie Wilde's All the Birds Singing. She was born born in London but grew up in Australia I think. It's quite mysterious. It's set on a British island and there's I think sheep disappearing and a beast in the forest. I've seen so much praise for this book and I'm really excited to read it. Then we're moving on to Europe. The first one is a Swedish book. It's called The Circle. It's the first part of the Engels Force trilogy. It was written by two authors. I don't know if the translation of the last part of the trilogy is out yet. I have read about half of this and I really really liked it. It's about a group of girls who one night without realizing what's happening or why they're doing it come together it's a bit witchy, it's a bit supernatural, it's really really fun and I can definitely recommend it. Then I have two I haven't read yet. First of all it is We the Drowned by Karsten Jensen which you might remember for this gorgeous cover which is Danish and was apparently voted the best Danish novel of the past 25 years. I did not know that. It's about a group of sailors that set off to fight the Germans and not all of them return and, and when some of them do return they have changed in a certain way. And then finally for Europe I have The Book of Disquiet by Fernando Pessoa who was a Portuguese author. I don't know too much about this book and it also doesn't give a lot away on the back so I will put uh, links to all of these books as I usually do in the description if you want to read more about them. Then we move on to North America. I have one that I've read and a bunch that I haven't read. Of course we have The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald which I quite enjoyed and is just so American. I lied, I have one more that I've read of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, which is about the American dream. Then I have another John Steinbeck, The Grapes of Wrath. I feel like I've read part of this in the past, but I can't really remember anything about it. So this will be a one that I'm starting from the beginning again. To Kill a Mockingbird, one of the classics that was on my American classics to read list a while ago, also accompanied by 
On the Road, of course, by Jack Kerouac, and then finally Into the Wild. I've seen the film and absolutely love it. Very curious about the book as well. It's about a boy who, after he graduates from university, decides that he wants to go live in the wild and just live off the land and kind of everything that happens around that. Then finally we have South America. First of all, we have The Head of the Saint, which is published by Hockey Books, where I work, and the author is Socorro Cielli. I actually got to meet her a couple of weeks ago. This book is about a statue. They never quite finished building this properly, so the head of the statue is this massive thing that's still on the ground while the body of the statue is on top of a hill. There's a boy who spends the night in what he thinks is a cave, but it's actually the head of the saint. And then during the evening, there are people coming to the statue to say their prayers, kind of looking for love. And Samuel decides that he can help answer these prayers. Skoro is Brazilian, so this book was translated from Portuguese, and this is her first book that's being translated into English. Then, of course, we have Gabriel Garcia Marquez, who is a Colombian author. The book I have is Love in the Time of Cholera. Also really want to read The General in His Labyrinth, because it is mentioned in Looking for Alaska by John Green. And then finally I have, get ready for a segue, White Circus of Sea by Jean Rice. This book is partly set in Dominica, which is also where the author is from. It is a fantastic book, which is sort of a spin-off of uh, the story of a certain character from Jane Eyre. And I will be reading this for Jane Eyre Week, which is happening the last week of November. It's just a little thing I wanted to do to get everyone to read Jane Eyre, which I have right here. So if you want to participate and want to read Jane Eyre with me, I'll be discussing this on November 24th. And then you can also read White Surge SOC, which I will be discussing later that week. Okay, those were all the books. If you want more information about them, it'll all be in the description. It'll be a very long list. I really want to read more diversely and I really want to put an effort into finding more authors that are not from the US or the UK because I do tend to read mostly authors from those countries. Of course, I have to tag some people. I am tagging Sushen from Talking Down the Sun, Amanda from She's So Mickey, Katie from A Fusions of Wit, Jan Campbell, who is the author of The Bookshop Book and Weird Things Customers Say in Bookshops, who now has her own YouTube channel, so go subscribe to her, and Lena from Just Kiss My Frog. And of course, if you're watching this video right now and you really want to do the tag, feel free to consider yourself tagged. This is the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys later. Doei!